we have heard a lot of important people with really shiny suits on tell us that radiation, when it goes into the ocean, dilutes. Well, I thought I would break it down for everybody, so let's look at how does radiation dilute. And I think we'll use a glass of milk as an example. And we took that glass of milk and we poured it into a five-gallon bucket. The water might still be tainted a little bit, but it's not probably not quite diluted yet. So if we dump that glass of milk into a 45-gallon drum, you might dilute it. That you wouldn't notice it was in the water. How about we dump that barrel with a glass of milk into it into an Olympic-sized swimming pool, just filled up with fresh, clean water? Will the pool employees reject that barrel? Will you be able to swim in it now that it has a glass of milk with you? Will the water taste funny? Will the pool turn white? Will you have to change the water because of the milk in the water, or is it finally diluted? I say it's diluted. Well, in comparison, if you took a glass of yellow cake or the fuel rod pellets, that the same size as a glass of milk from the missing fuel storage above Fukushima's reactor, and put it into a five-gallon bucket, the water still be just as radioactive as the glass. And if you dunk it into a 45-gallon drum, the 45-gallon drum will be still just as radioactive as the original glass was. And if you were to dump that 45-gallon drum into an Olympic-sized swimming pool, the swimming pool would still be just as radioactive as the original glass was. Fact is, you can never go in that pool or the building again till the end of time. And every day till the end of time, you can take half of that pool with a glass full of pellets sitting on the ocean floor or yellow cake and dump it into a lake and fill that pool back up again. And that lake would be radioactive till the end of time. And you can kill a lake a day, every day, just like that, and fill the pool back up each time. But it doesn't stop there. Those lakes will now also pollute any other lake they pour into, and the birds and the beavers and the muskrats and the moose and the deer and the creatures that depend upon those networks of lakes and streams and shorelines. Habitat becomes sick from that radiation upstream. Sick from the radiation that the rain picked up from those bodies of water mixes with the clouds, and the clouds become radioactive. But if you go far, far downstream, way, way, way downstream, it might be diluted. As long as you don't ever dump more into that lake from the radioactive rainfalls. It's all so familiar. Don't worry about By the time it gets here, it'll be like a banana. Or don't worry, it's like the background radiation of a rock. And don't worry, it's like the background radiation from sunlight. Everyone is radiated all the time. The sun radiates to the earth. Now stop being silly, all right? When you step back into reality land, you find out all life on earth is acclimated to that kind of radiation. And so they're misleading you because no life on earth can coexist with a man-made isotope. I'll drink my milk and the PR firms can have their yellow cake.